Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today we're going to talk about the Krakoan era of X Force. We're going to cover issues 11 and 12, written by Benjamin Percy. And I have to say that consistently it was one of the best runs of this time with Hickman's X Men. But also a fascinating contrast because I really didn't like Benjamin Percy's Wolverine run that was going on at the same time with this one. So the story starts off with Cecilia Reyes, who is a pretty obscure ex-character, but she's a doctor. She's about to perform an autopsy on these Russian soldiers that had attacked Krakoa. Beast and Sage are also present, both members of X-Force. And when she does the first incision to one of these soldiers, out comes out this little dude, grabs her scalpel, cuts her throat. It's actually very gruesome. And the thing is that inside of each one of these soldiers has one of these little dudes. And much like the Russian nesting dolls, each time they kill one, a smaller one sprouts out of their body. I do have to say that the concept is pretty cool because they get smaller and smaller. X-Force does not know how to deal with these guys and they're causing all types of chaos. Now, the big thing with this story and this whole story arc in general is that we have the situation where Russia as a country does not accept the existence of Krakoa. They're not in open war against Krakoa, but they have skirmishes all over the place with these Russian soldiers and with Russian black ops forces. Also during this run, we get this group of new villains. They're called Xeno. They're very much like the human. They're very much focused on the fact that they're trying to steal genetic material from any mutant that they can come across to be able to steal their powers and stuff like that. They originally started this run with stealing Domino's skin. They have aligned themselves with a mystery Russian mutant that we discover in this story is actually Colossus's brother, Rasputin. That even though he's a mutant, first and foremost, he considers himself to be a Russian and that Krakoa is a national security risk to Russia. It's actually a pretty interesting concept. The thing is that X-Force on Krakoa start questioning the loyalty of Colossus, who's also Russian. They're not sure if he's a double agent. They don't know where his loyalty lies. Now, the odd thing is that in this issue, X-Force gives Colossus all this grief, but they never bother Ileana Rasputin, who's Colossus' sister and also Russian. So going back to the Russian nesting dolls, they're creating this gigantic destruction. One of them actually breaks away from the battle and is trying to steal the Cerebro sword. Quinn Inquirer discovers this whole situation, tries to stop him, but ends up being killed. We get the big reveal that I already spoiled that the one behind this attack is Colossus' brother, Mikhail who actually takes Quentin Quire's corpse to Xeno so they can investigate and do some messed up shit to it. So thanks to this big revelation first, Beast sets out to question Omega Red, who obviously is not very cooperative. Then he sets out to not only question Colossus, they arrest him and completely humiliate him. Wolverine's like telling Beast, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you do something so terrible to poor Colossus? Beast seemingly wants to set an example to anyone that might put in danger the existence of Krakoa. So here we're going to start to see this rift between Wolverine and Beast that's going to grow more and more as the series goes on. And I got to thinking about the whole situation with Ileana. I think that during this time she's in Shi'ar space because the Numians had this adventure with the Shi'ar. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.